my offering for this afternoon. Um, we've got a couple of Q7s, we've got one there and another over there to do. Uh, this particular one is a one owner vehicle finished in lava grey. It's a 3 litre TDI S line. Uh, it's got a few bits and pieces extra on the, on the vehicle, um, which we'll just have a walk around in a second. This vehicle actually came in very clean. We've had to do minimal preparation. We generally have to do the wheels for scuffs and tyres and so forth. So whoever's had this vehicle before has taken really good care of that. The wheels might have been recently done, but they, as you can probably see on there, they, they look pretty good. Um, gets the stainless side, uh, side rails. Um, yeah, excellent order. Um, right, where should we start? Right, in the front we've got uh, daylight running LEDs and repeating the lower part of the bumper there. Deep grill as they've all got. It's got the grey diffuser at the bottom. We'll have a headlight wash in there. Gets folding mirrors. It's got the chrome detailing rather than the blacked out version. Size rims there, I think they're 19s, 20s, 20 inch. Yeah, I don't think they put 19s on the SQ7s. Uh, but in nice order, no paint, no wheels, no, you know, really, really well looked after car. So the back, it's got the twin pipes on the diffuser, the camera, just under there, reversing camera, electric tailgate, seven seats, as I think most of them are, I think the hybrids, some of the hybrids are only five seat on the later stuff, but these are seven seaters, got full uh, belts in the rear, generally have a collapsible spare, just check, yeah we've got a collapsible spare there with a compressor, so that can be um, blown up if the need arises. So I think that's it in the back side. Can adjust the height, so those are vertically challenged, as is myself. It can be adjusted lower, it's quite an easy adjustment. Just the profile of the other side. Just tinted glass, there's no privacy glass. That's something that can be added if there's a desire. Um, music. We've got Bose surround, so nice music upgrade, cup holders in the door. That's the brushed silver detailing that runs around the car. Dark headlining. Sports seats, I'm pretty sure, because it's got these, these extensions on them. The electric, I think it's the S9 logos in the back. And the round switch to the side, there's a lumbar sort of compressor in the seats. Gets cruise control over the other side there with paddle shift on the steering wheel, which you can see from here. Dual zoned air con with heated seats. Another cup holder there. Um, right, so you've got Isofix, two Isofix positions, three adult belts. The center armrest will come down. You've got access through here on a slide. I've just put one of the seats up, that um, bar does come out, I've just left it in the car because there's nowhere to put it when you're not using it other than your garage. Uh, quite often they go missing because of that reason. Uh, but it's got it, it just unclips on the left hand, on the driver's side there. But you've got full belts in the back so I'm not sure how long you want to put an adult in there for but you effectively can take seven, seven adults in this vehicle. Sunshine. Uh, Four wheel drive, I'll probably mention Quattro. In the door, we've got a uh, door lock override, folded mirror, switch, um, heated, four windows, electric child locks to the rear, 
and another boot release and a cup holder in there. Electric seats just follows through what we had the other side. So seats and trim in good order. Got a set of over mats. Got auto lights. The handbrake lever is just below there. Um, use it to get in. Right, we've got 63,150 for mileage. It's got the uh, service history to support that, which we'll have a look at in a second. Um, top the ignition on. And we've got all the normal things really nav, dab radio. It's also got jukebox. Let's turn that fan off. And down. You think I'd learn? Right. Um, jukebox, sorry, not come up in it. Yeah, jukebox in there so you can load uh, music to a hard drive on the car. Gets it, air suspension as all, as far as I can remember, all Q7s of this vintage do. Uh, we've got their music refinement and Bluetooth, so you can stream pair the phones and then stream music so forth through those. Just gives you the other options. Um, okay, you've got a CD drive there, Audi Multimedia, dual zoned aircon. I don't think there are any switches in the back. No, just a couple of power, power switches to the back of the car. So it's just dual zoned. Um, no heat controls really to the screen, to the fascia and so forth. Um, as you remember my control down there, another cup holder with a couple of more cubby holes. Uh, airbag will turn off, Isofix is down the front of the front seat as well. So if you've got multiple little ones to ferry about, uh, I think that's just lights. We'll get a um, rain sensors for the wipers and so the auto lights, cruise we've mentioned, panel shift we've mentioned. I think that's it. Um, that's the vehicle details there. Just remember the name. So it's had, well it's had one former keeper, so that'll be two hours actually, that'll make it. I don't know what the first owner was, doesn't say on the, on the sheets. Um, pretty sure yeah, I've got a print now. This is what I've downloaded off of Audi's site. So recently serviced, uh, yeah, May this year at 62. So it's done about a thousand miles since the service. Um, looks like all the last one, two, three, four, five, six are from seven at uh, the same dealer, and two from the supplying dealer. By the look of it. But nice history, evidence of history as well. Um, we'll be giving our check, final check over and any service that we feel needs doing, we will still do despite the, the dealership having a look at it just to satisfy ourselves. Yeah, I think that's it. It's, well, effectively a two owner vehicle um, with a decent history, nice spec, nice condition, and 